What's up, guys? So, we're in the new F-250. We've had it for about 5,000 miles. We like it. We love it. My wife loves it. Um, through our first check engine light, I thought it was just routine maintenance, but the better side of me was basically like, no, there's no... There would have been a maintenance light, not a check engine light. So, called the dealership. They wanted $290 just to run the scan, <laughs> but I have my cheap Chinese scan tool. Ran it, got a... P00BD, which, and I'll, send, I'll put a snapshot up here somewhere, um, which basically led me to believe that I need to do, uh, I need to check my mass airflow sensor. So, let's go do that. Ooh! First thing you notice. Hmm. Oh, that's sticky. Oh, that's dirty. That is a hole, my friend. Oh, shit. That is more than a hole. Holy crap. We gotta fix this. So this is a mass airflow sensor here, but this tube is straight up fudged. So, I'm not, oh my god. Are you kidding me right now? This is the first time I'm seeing this, but it looks, you know, buenos. So basically we're gonna go ahead and order this from Ford and go from there. Man. All right, so quick update. Ford's got the part, $110. He said it was originally 170, but I looked online. I could get it for like 75 bucks online, but they have it in stock. So I just went ahead and said, screw it, order it, let me have it, hold it over for me, whatever. So I'm going to go pick it up here in a minute, but I'm going to take it off the truck now. And I'm going to go ahead and take it with me to make sure it's the right one. I won't go from there. So here's what we got. Here's the whole piece. Holy crap, look at that. Like, dude. And then it split again there. Shouldn't have. I mean, my check engine light just came on. So this just happened. But look at the mass airflow. That's dirty as crap. So don't clean that with your hand. Get some of that CRC. Get some of the good stuff. Clean it off. I'm going to take this whole piece over with me to the dealership and get the right one. There's your part number right there. But they have a replacement part. So the 6F073, they actually make a B now, which replaces the A. Hopefully I have the right one. We'll see, find out real quick, but stay tuned. So I went ahead and started taking this guy off, which if you can see, there's a bit of a, a bit of a, dip right there that clicks in. I just kind of shoved my screwdriver. Oh man, come on, focus. Right there. And twisted it. And it should now, Jesus, should now twist off. Maybe, potentially. Might want to. There's so much gunk in here, it might not. Oh man. starting to come out I mean, this is sealed in there right because there you go that's what it looks like on the inside so it's one of those twist my jobbies if you can see that and there's your sensor so we're gonna go ahead and get our use our cleaner that dissolves and we're gonna put this back keep this by the car so we don't ruin it we don't get any dirtier than it needs to be all right guys this is the stuff i'm talking about good stuff but you should be able to just 
see how it just kind of cleans it all off. Makes it all nice and pretty like. Might not open doing a song. You have a better idea. Significantly better. Better than it was, at least. I'm gonna clean around it. And make sure you clean your hands off with this shit. This shit should dissolve and in the air or uh, evaporate, but you know, basically everything's treat everything like it's cancerous, right? All right. Um, it's losing, losing light, but here's the new piece. Thankfully, it comes with a new mass airflow sensor, even though I took mine out. Here is the new part number. Apparently, it's 8 a.m. Let's see if we, we get a code. All right, guys. Well, there you have it. She fired up. No codes. So, I'm good with that. Um, wrapping it up. Thankfully, everything went smooth. And uh, thanks for watching. Comment if you have any questions. Maybe I'll be able to help. <laughs> Either way. Thanks. Alright guys, one thing I didn't mention was is I got a, immediately following this little fix, I had a, a P0170 code pop up, which is a fuel trim uh, code on bank one. I attribute it to this. This is a new mass airflow sensor. Um, what I did is I took it out of the new pit bit. And I put the old one in there. So there's a TSB out for this particular uh, code. And it's basically like a reflash of your PCM and reset the mass airflow parameters. I don't want to pay the dealership $290 to scan again and tell me. I know they're going to sit there and be like, oh, we have to scan it, you know, because it's a dealership, right? So I'm going to, what I did is I just basically reverted to the old system. I don't think it'll be a, any different, but the reading on the mass airflow sensor might be different because a brand new mass airflow sensor versus the one that's been on there that I cleaned, it's probably gonna be different. So I reset the code, hopefully there's some driving around. We'll see, we'll, we'll help it, but I don't know, I could be stupid. Either way, let me know. I'm gonna, let me know what your thoughts are. I'm gonna try and make it work, but we'll see, thanks.